Okay, so if I had one complaint so far, the manual. For someone who doesn't, have never done this before, it's, it's not very clear, I would say. It's 18 pages long. Um, I wish it would kind of just say like one page for hens to take this step, this step, this step for, you know, other other fowl, other birds do this step, this step, but it doesn't. It just gives you like a generalized um, instructions. And then there's nothing that says, you know, step one, do this, step two, do this, which I think would be easier. It gives you this little chart, hens, pheasant, quail, ducks, parrots, blah, blah, blah. But then like everything else, you kind of have to flip back and forth through the um, manual to um, figure it out. Like I thought this part was kind of confusing because there's like, a, you have to set a turning um, duration, like how many times you want it to turn, depending on which kind of eggs. And then you have to also set the angle to which it turns. Sorry, my cat is playing. The angle, is, I think it has to do with these eggs. Like it's, you know, a bigger turning angle for bigger eggs, which makes sense, but it's not super clear. I'm like, I don't know if I skipped a page or whatever, but it never told me to put water in. <laughs> and I was a little confused. It didn't say, it said fill half of the water port. Well, okay, well, there's two water ports. Does that mean fill this one halfway or fill the one in the middle? I don't know if you can see it. Half. So that's what I did. I filled the half of the center port. I filled it obviously on the side where um, you can see the little tube coming out. And when I filled that, it actually, it dripped into here. So I think what you're supposed to do is, um, Fill this up to that little hash line. You can see that little, looks like a little stick in there. And then it drains into the center. And during incubation, I believe half of it's supposed to be filled. And then I think um, once you get to lockdown, you fill both parts. So there's more, the humidity is higher. I believe that's how it works, but anybody can correct me if I'm wrong and then we'll see what happens. I could fail completely at this. And then up here is the menu. So what you do is you hit these two buttons at once and that brings up like um, the mode that you can change these settings. I wish it came set for chicks because I think that's what most people do with this, especially the first time. And then if you need to change it for like quail or something else, then you can make the change. So I started playing with it and I have no idea if I changed the default settings. But I think I did it right. So for chicks, obviously 21 days. So you set that, you press these two buttons, then you press this for the different options. And it would be like days of duration, um, whether you want um, your eggs to be turning, which that little turning thing indicates. The temperature, you change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending. And for, for chickens, I set it at 99.5. Um, the asterisk means that it's still coming up to temperature. And I believe that when it gets to temperature, that asterisk will be there, but it will slowly like um, um, go off and on. So, so you can see it's coming up. It's, now we're at 98. But initially, I didn't even know I was supposed to put water in it. That's not too smart of me. Well, it didn't give me a step-by-step, -step, so. But I did figure it out. Thankfully, I hope I have it set right. The whole turning angle and time to turn it wasn't really clear in the pamphlet. So I might go online and see if someone else has better instructions for that. So I set this up like I'm going to pick up my eggs in about four, three or four hours just to make sure it worked and make sure the temperature comes right. I have this set up in my bathroom. Um, I have big windows in here, as you can see, but there's this wall blocking. So hopefully there'll be no direct sunlight on it so it doesn't change it and we do have to keep the room it says keep the room any you know don't let the room get below 63 degrees fahrenheit so and that's it i'll check back in